In order to configure the print settings for your devices, you need to go to Control Panel. Do a right click on Start and select Control Panel. At the Control Panel, select View Devices and Printer. From the Devices and Printers, do a right click on HP OfficeJet Pro 7740 and select Printer Properties. Go to Device Settings. Under Device Settings, there is an Installable Options. Now the Tray 2 is installed. So is the automatic duplexing unit. Let us select the Tray 2 to be not installed and the automatic duplexing unit to be not installed as well. Let us try to open a Word document and see what happens. Let's go to File Print and Printer Properties. You will notice that the print on both sides is not available under the print shortcuts. Similarly, if you were to try and click on print on both sides, it is not selectable. Next, let us go to Paper quality. Under the paper source, you'll find that there is no tray 2 options. That is because under the device settings that you have set earlier, you have put tray 2 as not installed. Hence, it is not available in the print driver as well. Let us go back to the device settings and turn it back on. So from the Word document, we know that once the tray 2 and the automatic duplexing unit is set as not installed, you will not be able to print duplex. Similarly, you will also not be able to print from tray 2. Let us set it back to installed right now. Go back to Printer Properties, Device Settings, and select the installable options for tray 2 as installed and the automatic duplexing unit as installed. Now let us go back to Word and see what happens. From the Word document, let us go to File Print and take a look at the options. Go to Printer Properties. You will see that the two sided printing is now enabled. Similarly, if you go to Paper Quality, you will see that the Tray 2 is now enabled or is available. Now that we have shown you how the device settings can affect how you print with regards to the tray 2 as well as the automatic duplexing unit, let us set a specific media size for tray 2. Once again, go to Printer Properties and go back to Device Settings. Now, we know that we have installed the tabloid media into tray 2. So let us set that. So go to Form to Tray Assignment, Tray 2, set it as tabloid. Now that we have set the tray 2 as tabloid, let us do a demo on the Word document for a duplex printing using the tabloid size media. 
So on the Word document, first you need to go to Layout and select Size as Tabloid. Let's type in some text. Let's make the text a little bit bigger. And we'll go to the page 2. Now, we will go to File Print. If you were to click the print right now, it should automatically pick from tray 2, which has the tabloid media. And under the set settings, we need to set it as print on both sides. So this is one area where you can check the settings for your print job. Once you have loaded the media into tray 2, you can Click on print. So this is the tabloid media that was just printed and is a set to print on both sides. So this is how you set the print settings for tray 2 and use it as a demo on the word document to print two sided. Next let us do a test on tray 1, which has the A4 media. So we will change some text on this word document. Now, the most important thing is that your layout, you need to select the size to A4. Once that is done, you can go to File Print. And again, we will select Print on both sides. So make sure that you have A4 media in tray 1 and once that's ready, you can click on Print. So indeed, it has automatically selected tray 1, which has the A4 media, and printed the document that we sent from Word. When you go to File Print, these are the settings that Microsoft Word has. And if you were to go into Printer Properties, these are the settings that HP software offers. And once any of these settings are set, it will use that settings that you use in HP software for print. For example, if the paper quality, the source is not selected as 
printer auto select and you force it to either tray 1 or tray 2 and assuming that if you are printing a A4 uh, document and you select tray 2 it will pick the media from tray 2 which in this case we do know that it is containing the tabloid media let us show you that it is indeed the case so the paper source we will select as tray 2 and this document is actually an A4 document. Once ready, we can click on print. So as you can see here, even though the document is A4, when in the HP printer software settings, we force it to select and pick from tray 2, it will pick from tray 2 which contains the tabloid media.